Next thing I want to do in this file is create my first floor. So if I double click on my first floor, again choose walls, make sure it's on brick veneer 250 timber, it knows I want to go to 03 roof, it's still on finished face exterior, now it's just a matter of drawing in. So I'm going to click on the endpoint there, maybe hit space to switch orientation, and I'm going to go ahead and draw in my top now. So I want it to go to that point there. So I'm going to come all the way over to this snapping point here, back up to that corner, across to the right. There. Okay. Now this time I want my wall to be parallel with that line, and I'm going to come up and overhang by four meters. Zoom out, bring that down, drag this to the end, look for that snapping line, and I can complete my top floor. Now it might be handy to know that we have some options here. If we miss some of our alignments, for example, say I drew this and it never ended up being aligned to my bottom floor, we have an option where we can click on our wall. In our options here, we have an align tool in the modify panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on align. Reading down the bottom it says please select line or point reference for alignment. The first thing we want to click is the one that is not going to move. So in this case I don't want my bottom floor to move, I want my top floor to match my bottom floor. So I'm going to click that line there. Then I'm going to select an entity to align. So I want this one to move to line and that has fixed it up for me. I can go ahead and hit escape now to get out of that. My top floor is aligned with all those ground floor lines. While we're in here we're going to go into architecture and choose that floor tool again. I'm going to select the walls where I want this floor to come up on. Once that's complete hit that green tick and it comes with that option again. Would you like the walls to go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? Now if I went ahead and clicked yes, I get this error here saying the highlighted walls are attached to but miss the highlighted target so I can just hit OK. Go into my 3D views and you'll notice what's happened is there's a gap between my walls. So I told these walls to attach to the floor but I want these walls to attach to each other. So that's why when that option box come up it's often easier just to press no and fix any errors up ourselves later. So I'm going to go ahead and undo my floor. Go back into round floor. So go back into I'm going to go back into first floor. Choose that floor option again. Draw my floor, click the green tick and this time I'm going to press no. If I go into my 3D view we can see here that is all aligned. Again I can see this wall in here so I can click on that, use that join option again, join this wall onto my floor and that will fix that up. Last floor we want to do on this file is on the front here, which will become our deck. So double click on first floor, choose our floor option. Again, I'm going to use the line option and I am going to draw in my deck. hit no on that, go on our 3D view and again the reason why we've done that as a separate piece from this floor is so we can have a different material. We might want to have something polished or some carpet in here and on the outside we probably want some timber slats to be our deck. Again we have overlapping walls so to fix that we're just going to click on the join geometry and start joining these walls to that slab. And what that will do if we zoom in on our wall is take a little 
chunk out of our wall so that slab then fits there nicely.